You are a national institution so important that if you did not exist, we would have to create you. For almost a century, Brookings has been the place to go for good ideas on how to improve the way we govern ourselves locally, nationally, and globally. There is no better venue for my remarks than here at Brookings. It's always a pleasure to return to the Brookings Institution. This task is more important today as partisan politics have all but paralyzed the federal government in the face of an uneven economic recovery, high unemployment at home, and tests of our strength and diplomacy abroad. Global governance is also struggling to meet threats like climate change, regional crises, and nuclear proliferation. Our more than 100 scholars and experts are conducting high-quality, independent research as a basis for dealing with the great issues of our time. Whether we're developing policy ideas to help girls in Kenya get the education and skills they need to escape poverty, creating innovative economic strategies for American cities like Atlanta, Denver, Houston, and Las Vegas, finding solutions for affordable housing in the U.S. or devising ways to reform healthcare, Brookings is at the forefront. Brookings Institute released a poll today. President Obama, in a speech to the Brookings Institution. Let's bring in the senior fellow at the Brookings Institution, the nonpartisan public and foreign policy think tank. Tough problems call for expert, fact-based analysis. And bold, innovative, pragmatic solutions. That's the business we're in. Robert S. Brookings would be proud of how we have widened the scope of the vision that led him to found the institution in 1916. We've done that by converting Brookings' ideas, research, and analysis into best practices and effective policies around the nation and the world. I am so grateful for Brookings for hosting this event. I'm very happy to be here with you this afternoon.